Hello and welcome back, dudes and dudettes. Off camera, uh, I fixed up the Oberlin Station, Hangman's Alley. I went through Police Precinct 8, but um, I did not go through the public library. I just uncovered it, and then I cleared out Trinity Plaza. Uh, do -do -do -do. What else? Oh, the police stuff is cool. You guys didn't see that. Hopefully I can get at least one of them <laughs> on camera. But every time I go to a police station, there's this holiday blog from a guy named Eddie Winters who's involved in some kind of, like, robbery or something. And every time you, like, go to a new police station, it uncovers another police station to go to. So there's this one now. And it's kind of a cute little, like, weird storyline mystery thing that's <laughs> going on. And I was going to go to the reservoir and then 81, but Cosworth is maxed out. So there's no point in me using him anymore as far as, like, trying to get his friendship boosted up so I can get his perks or have it. And I think there's uh, a companion in Diamond City. So that's where we're going to go now. Hopefully we can get there without the <laughs> game crashing. Yeah, we haven't met, but it's great that you're a seller. Bye-bye. So... Uh, up onwards and upwards for greatness. I'm sorry, Codsworth. Gotta leave you behind. But it's time we we move on. I'll always love you. You're part of family. <laughs> but we we need a change, friend. We need a change. Need something new. Cause I'm gonna run out of places to go eventually. <laughs> and it need looking for Diamond City. Just follow the sign. It's okay. What are you doing, man? This guy's like freaking out over here. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I'm saving. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> Gotta rotate those saves, you know. <laughs> Been using like auto saves forever. You came from across the Charles? Long height. I like how they all have the accents. It's awesome. It's about time. Yeah. Stop playing around. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. Boo. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's adorable. That's funny. Steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ah, uh, she's one of those reporters. Right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. I like how... You. You want into Diamond City, right? That scripted event. I wonder what happens if you just, like... Like, you just walk away. It's weird. <laughs> just, like, pass by. That was, that was a nice, like, scripted event, though. That they had set up for Piper's introduction. She's the next companion. So, yeah. Who are you? What? Who are you? Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. It's <laughs> weird. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Uh, you're an interesting character, Miss Piper. I'll give you that one. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. A big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Okay. Piper. 
That's enough talk for now. Piper, I'm bound to get Magic to Magic know side. you, lady. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slander. <laughs> You're disrupting the Zeppelin races. scrap for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant Mayor shuts down the press. <laughs> I'll snap. Why don't we ask the newcomer? Oh, jeez. You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, yeah, I support the news. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like diamonds. <laughs> I'm sure. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? <laughs> Whatever. You're false, Joe. <laughs> you two arguing. What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth... They can't handle the truth. <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? Yes, for vengeance. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son! My son. Sean. Jason! He's less than I mean, Sean! <laughs> Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Uh, okay. I think this well, is sure. a speech, Jack. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, ah, uh, yeah. Is, uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine. Oh, hell yeah. Who specializes in tracking people down. Usually for debts. Or well, I don't know. They're both in no, here. I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any cases? I've had enough of this, Piper. <laughs> From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. You got it, Carmen San Diego. Oh, man, cool. I'm so glad we progressed the story a little bit. This is awesome. I got to choose between Piper and Nick now, though. That sucks. Officer? Head on inside. Oh, come on. Where's the wicked accents? Hi. Hey. Hey, Sullivan. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. <sighs> You're not the first guy Piper pulled into a heap of trouble he wasn't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and... Well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Man, Donnie's rad too. Danny. Danny's rad too. Can I talk to him? Like, can you be a companion? Be cool. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know where that elevator went, but I don't care. <laughs> I want to continue with the story. It's about time. It's been like 15 parts. So, this is the famous Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find more of a gem than a dusty home base. Civilization in the rough. Interessante. Hey, kiddo. How 
the paper sales. Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if you don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Read the public and be prepared. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. A free paper? Sounds like quality. <laughs> I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. Whatever. Tell me more about the Institute. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Good God, man. They read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone. And we all know why. Why? So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. Mm, okay. What's the synthetic truth? What? <laughs> Help ties it under T for that, That's silly. Very well. Uh, cool. The ramen, excellent. Oh, that sucks. They kicked out a, a ghoul. That's rude. Oh, shoot. That sucks. That was nuts. Hey, <laughs> you little son of a gun. Hey, scaver, got plenty of ramen meat on the. No thanks. New file to open. You have a legitimate medical concern. Is this about a facial reconstruction? Facial reconstruction. Facial reconstruction. 
What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. No, if you have an actual medical problem... Sure. So what kind of treatments are... Bandaging wounds and... Not today. Let me know if that changes. Alright, out of you, friend. Hey, man. Got a lot of chems here. <laughs> no thanks, man. Oh. What? Is this a door? Yeah, it is. Okay. Not gonna mess with that right now. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, man. You got a robot butler? <laughs> hey there. Around here, we call your haircut the scab special. A little flex of blood, give it the personal touch. You should hey. think about getting it. You there. Talk some sense into. Well, do you think McDonald's secretary is a simp? I don't know. We'll find out. Yes? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Sheffield. Need a drink. I have new Coca Cola, Cola. homie. Here you go. So gracious of you, sir. I'm sure it's not every day someone shows him such kindness. <gasps> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. One good turn. Oh, I wish I had a new companion. You then. You need a genuine, authentic, custom made hickory swatter. What's up with that accent? What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. Yeah, I remember. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball No, they bats. didn't. And the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Look, dumbass. That's not how baseball works. <laughs> you smarty pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? It was America's pastime, a sport that united families on warm summer days, and it wasn't violent. Uh, mostly. Certainly no one was beaten to death as part of the game mechanics. I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine... Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? More money. I need more. I like your moxie. We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? More money! You own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire in your eyes. Mm, all right. 150 caps for each piece. And you better be worth it. Deal? Even more! Oh, come on. Show me you're serious. Oh! Ah, uh, yeah. If Julie could see that steely <laughs> gaze of yours... <laughs> she might have finally met a match. You win. Ugh. Yeah, I'll do it. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And thank you. You're welcome, Mo. Nice. Hey, you're the new guy, right? Depends on who's asking. Name's Arturo. I sell protection if you. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns. So mm -hmm. Install a scope, expand the clip. Anyway, let's get back. Mm -hmm. Alright, sure. let's see what you got. Self-defense at its best. 
big boy. Oh my gosh. Nice. What do I have? I still have friggin' mods. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's all addictions. Da, 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 da. On some of that super cool catchers padding. <laughs> Nice doing business with you. You? I don't know you. Just keep your distance. One statue of David impression coming up. Good. Good. Now just to answer me one, because I will not serve a synth. No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth <laughs> would do. Ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Human as the day. Come I'm on, born. baby. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching <laughs> you. I have eyes like a. Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business. Let's see what you have. Just don't call it junk. Okay. You don't have junk, you got it. weapons, lady. Jeez. But yeah, you kind of have junk. I'll play. Am I care cares about you? All your it's cool. Oh yeah, I can bring my power armor here. Hopefully, I don't steal it though. I gave up alcohol after settling down here. Schoolhouse Rock security. I'm not going to school. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, Stop right? Insane. What? No you mean the <laughs> Valentine? That's an awesome sign. Ah, oh, so cool. This place is so neat. Let's talk to Mr. Valentine. Who's luck? His ties. The road to freedom. You guys see that? Hey. The bills. Something wrong. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. It's important, lady. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... He's gone missing. Uh, what? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help, but there's... Money, huh? Come on, this is your... Fine. Hey, hey, hey. Last chance. Put some real money on the table. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Dude, I feel bad extorting people, but I want the experience. I'll find him. <laughs> I have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry. Oh, he sounds so cool. <laughs> we have Codsworth. Man, yeah, Nick sounds cool. He's a detective and stuff. So neat. 
Oh, look at that ball point. Oh, man, that's so cool. That's so neato. Neato bajudo. Okay, let's look at the map. Check out our data. Road to Freedom. Follow the Freedom Trail. Oh, it's in the same place. Is that's cool? Okay, okay, okay. It's nice, neato. I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah. First, we're gonna Piper's office, though. Oh, it's way over there. Oh, jeez, Louise, we're getting in this, folks. Ah, oh, dude, to do that, I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. This is awesome. <laughs> oh man. Is Piper's office. I want to get her as a companion, maybe. Public occurrences. Whoa. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look. Dead oh yeah. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. Yeah! I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Hell yeah. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. Ooh la la. Uh, the RP in me wants to answer sarcastically for everything, but All right, Piper. Uh, <laughs> I want to be nice to Piper. The business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? It fucking sucked. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge the whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? You got it, Tuts. Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man at a time. Yeah, you so got it, Olivia Munn. The Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? <laughs> Fun destroying thing. It sucks! <laughs> uh, no, it gives me hope because you guys are rebuilding civilization. Rebuilding the world? Gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? I do now. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Get revenge. <laughs> uh, take it one day at a time. No, don't lose hope. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Yeah, Piper. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. Sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. <laughs> Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. Nah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna send you back. 
to the sanctuary, Codsworth. I'll miss you. I love you, buddy. Adios, friend. Hey. Just let me know. Don't mind the clutter. Uh, all right. Do, you have a, do I need to give her a gun? I guess we'll find out. You say the word. Hey, Piper. What's going on? Is everything okay between us? I suppose things are all right. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? Your thoughts? Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Oh, nothing. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, awesome, dudes and dudettes. We got a new companion, so if I can raise up our relationship with her before <laughs> I get through every single thing in the game. Because there's also Nick Valentine we're going to save, too. All right, I'm not going to read all that. It's a waste of my time. Hey, Nat. Selling papers is busy work, mister. Alright, peace out. <laughs> it's big, Don't loud, move, Sin. What have you done with the real Riley? Oh, jeez. I swear, I'm not a Sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a Sin! He'll kill us all! <gasps> Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no sense. Oh my god. You hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. But what happened? I'm I'm not a synth. I I told them. I, I kept telling them. Why didn't he listen to me? I uh I need a minute. Uh, this is your fault, Piper. <laughs> Free for the taking. I need you to step away, Scabber. Fine, jerk face. Okay. Adios, friends. I